Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is what I eat in a day, cozy drink edition. So I've actually been sharing a lot of the drinks that I've been really enjoying in a few of my reels and TikToks, if you follow me on there. And I've gotten a lot of interest from you guys on how I make these and what are they. So I remember when I used to commute to work, one of the things I really looked forward to was actually going to a local cafe. Yeah, there's just something about going to a cafe and, and ordering your favorite drink that is very appealing. And I feel like it makes a lot of us feel very motivated that's why a lot of us work at cafes or we'll spend five dollars on a drink but now that a lot of us are working from home i think it's still important to treat ourselves and look forward to those special moments even though we are in our home all the time so one of the ways that i do that is by having my own little home cafe and treating myself to these really delicious drinks so i hope that this video motivates you to treat yourself once in a while and that it gives you some ideas on what kind of drinks you can make for yourself at home so let's get started with the video the drink that I love to start my days with is a fresh shot of espresso. Dedicating time in the morning to making my favorite drink helps me wake up and excites me for whatever's to come during my day. The recipe that I use calls for 16 grams of beans and outputs 32 grams of espresso for a 1 to 2 brew ratio. Once I've weighed the beans, I throw them in the grinder. Fine-tuning the grind size for espresso can actually be a bit tedious, but it's one of the most important steps. I'm not perfect at making espresso, but there's just something about the journey of improving and refining my craft that's just been very enjoyable. Next, I use this tool to move the coffee grounds around to make sure that they're evenly distributed. This step is actually really important because you want to make sure that the extraction is nice and even. I'll give it a good tamp. You don't need a crazy amount of force. Then I put the portafilter into the machine and make sure that it's really secure. And once I'm ready, I'll start the water flow and watch the espresso flow out of the portafilter. Bottomless portafilters are actually my favorite because you can see the extraction process if you look underneath. Now, since the warmer weather is here, I've actually been enjoying my espresso as an iced latte. It's so refreshing. So I'm actually going to make some cold foam to put on top of my drink. I actually just got this milk frother to whip some air into my oat milk to turn it into this beautiful creamy cold foam. Now, it's time to assemble my iced cold foam latte. I've been enjoying using these silicone straws too, and I really like how they're bendy and sustainable. Now, it's time to start my productivity day. Normally, I enjoy my coffee while doing some maintenance work. I always dedicate times in the morning to respond to as many YouTube comments as I can and to catch up on my emails. Later in the day, my new matcha set arrived in the mail. I got a new bamboo whisk, a matcha spoon, a sifter, ceremonial grade matcha, and this really beautiful matcha bowl. I also got this stand for the whisk to help it preserve its shape. These whisks do a really great job of aerating the matcha to create a really nice creamy texture. So for my midday drink, I'm going to be making an iced matcha latte. You can tell when the matcha is high quality by its color, fragrance, and taste. High quality matcha smells really fresh and it's a bright, vibrant green. 
I've gotten a lot of questions from you guys on how I make matcha lattes and how I prevent matcha clumps in my drinks. The trick is to really sift the matcha first. This helps get rid of any big clumps. Then pour in the hot water and use the matcha whisk in a quick zigzag motion. This introduces air into the matcha and it's what creates this really nice rich texture. The process is also very meditative and intentional, which I really like. I love to enjoy matcha as a midday drink. I think as we get busy during the day, we forget to hydrate ourselves. So treating myself to a refreshing matcha latte brings me joy and also gives me light energy throughout my day. Towards the end of my day, I find that I gravitate towards fruit smoothies. Maybe it's because after a long day of hard work, I want to reward myself with a dessert. So I always find myself craving something sweet at the end of the day. And one of the ways that I satisfy this craving is with a yummy smoothie. It's sweet yet healthy. So today I'm making a mango banana smoothie. It's so easy to make. I love topping my smoothies off with fresh fruit and some rolled oats. It makes the smoothie experience a lot more enjoyable for me. Food presentation is definitely something others may find extra, but I actually think that these extra things that I do really make me look forward to one of the pleasures in life, eating. I try my best to have a healthy diet while also making foods or drinks that are really yummy and make me happy. So be sure to treat yourself once in a while or every day. Every day in life is a treat and you deserve it. As always, stay cozy and I'll see you in the next one.